Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Today I'm going to show you a gorgeous holiday hairstyle featuring a French braided headband and soft waves. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, so it's always nice to start with a smooth canvas, so go ahead and brush everything out. Now we're going to part the hair in three sections and we're going to separate basically the front from the back. So I'll just do a strong middle part. And then I'm going to take about from the apex, so the very top of the head, all the way down to just behind the ear. And I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. Alright, now that I have that, I'm going to take the two front sections and divide both of those in half. Okay, now I want to marry the two sections that are closest to the hairline, and this is what I'm going to use to start my French braid. Take a tiny section just above the ear and divide it into three smaller sections, and um, this will be the three st strands that you use for the inverted French braid. Um, now, if you don't know how to do an inverted French braid, of course I have a tutorial on it, so please check that out. Um, so while you're doing this, one thing to keep in mind is just make sure you keep everything really, really close to the head and you're continuously moving in the direction that you want your hair to go. You don't want to give it too much slack because then there'll be um, kind of sackiness as an end result. So you want to make sure everything's really tight and close to the head. Now that we've finished that first French braid, we're going to take the last two sections, marry them together, and move them in the opposite direction is the first braid. Okay, so at this point, we're just mimicking the exact um, inverted French braid that we did on the other side. We're just going in the opposite direction.
All right, now that the hardest part is over, all we're gonna do now is lightly curl the rest of the hair just to give it kind of a loose wave. And once I'm done curling, I like to run my fingers through the ends and kind of separate everything out because it makes it look a lot more natural and flowy. This part's just completely optional. If you want to give your style a little bit more body or volume, just go ahead and back comb right at the crown. I would do it about um, three to four sections in. Now I want to conceal the tail end of the braid, so I'm going to take a diagonal back section, place the braid parallel to it, and then I want to take a larger bobby pin and pin that in place. And then I'll just repeat that same step on the opposite side. So that's a diagonal back section, place the braid inside, pin it in place with the larger bobby pin, and then cover up your work with the rest of your hair. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Merry Christmas.